Hi to you, Red Point Church. Um, just so great to be able to communicate in this way with you. Um, even though we can't be with you, we can still kind of chat like this. So our beloved friends and family and church, um, good morning to you. Um, I wanted to just say hello before the lockdown um, and share a few thoughts um, with you. Welcome to my space here in at home. I love being in the space. It's where I do a lot of my spiritual activities or disciplines. It's where I love to pray. It's where I love to read. Um, it's actually Matthew's room. Um, and I also do some creative things here. And I love the yes sign on the wall there. And I keep it up because it always reminds me just to say yes to Christ and his mission and what he's called us to. And no matter if it gets tough at times, you just it's just yes and amen, Jesus. And so I like to keep that sign there. Um, I thought I would give you a little bit of feedback as to where our family are at. Our daughter Josie came home yesterday for the three-month lock, uh, three-week lockdown, and Matthew is returning tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity of being together, actually, and um, it's going to be beautiful. Um, I'm going to have to find another little space because, as I said, this is his room. But anyway, that's news from us. On the 15th of March, things pretty much changed radically for all of us. Um, I remember clearly Nick and I were chatting to two dear friends at church about their realities, two ladies in the church, about the realities they face, not with corona, but with other realities. And uh, it happened to be, <laughs> we happened to be the last people to leave church that day. And um, I was just thinking if you had said to me that that would be the last time you're going to be together, you're going to worship as a community, for the unforeseeable future, um, I would not have believed it. Um, it really is taking a while to sink in um, for all of us. I think we are all trying to work out. Uh, just, it's, it's just radical and um, inconceivable, really, what has happened with this virus throughout the world. Um, but we do, we are praying for you, thinking of, especially of the families with small children that might be locked in, in very small spaces, um, thinking of you and just praying the grace of God upon you. Um, I just want to encourage you by saying you're the very best people, mom and dad, to be with your children right now. And um, this is a time that can be full of the grace of God upon you. And I pray wisdom. I pray that you are able to maintain order and still have fun with them. Um, and something that really encouraged me when our children were small and I, I used to feel so incompetent as a mom. Um, and I used to think, well, I, I am the God-ordained mother, so it must mean that I'm the perfect mother for these two children. And if I seek you with all my heart, God, you will give me the wisdom. And so that is my prayer for you as moms and dads. Also thinking of um, the older people in the church that might feel terribly lonely during this time. And my heart goes out to you too. And I have a testimony in this area. A number of years ago, I felt God take me through a period of isolation, actually. Um, and um, it was extremely difficult. Um, I am quite an introverted person naturally. But I love community and I love our Red Point community and it was an extremely difficult time for me. Um, loneliness is a very hard thing to live through actually and to work out because loneliness immediately says that there's something wrong with you. Um, and, but I want to encourage you that I found Jesus during that time in a way I had never found him before. I found him to be a friend that I never knew as a friend, um, he'd always been a beautiful Lord, a beautiful Savior, um, a sustainer, but he became a friend closer than a brother and a beautiful person to have in my life as a friend. And I pray that that, that would be your experience during this time. And I want to encourage you to, to um, seek after him. You know, there's a promise in the word that says, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me, declares the Lord, I will be found by you. And um, so I pray that for you. I pray that you will have wonderful times of worship as a family. 
Nekana worshipped um, with gusto on Sunday, and I don't have a great voice, but as we were led by Mikey and the band, and then we sat and listened to him preach, um, it was such a sacred time, actually. It was holy. God was with us, and um, I trust that you would enjoy those times, too. Um, I wanted to share very quickly this quote that I, I heard recently. It said something to the effect that it's not a bad thing to have um, our props removed from us occasionally because it makes us learn what is rock and what is sand under our feet. And that happened to me recently. And um, I had to learn very quickly that Jesus Christ is the rock that I stand upon. And it's a great lesson to learn. And that is the lesson that we will all have to learn at some point, even if it's not ours. Before I end today, I want to say thank you to the eldership team. I'm aware that I'm part of that eldership team, but I am submitted to them and I want to thank them that they've never pro pro promised me a gospel that would promise me a perfect life, but they have told me and they have taught me that life is not easy, even as a Christian, even with Jesus in our lives. And But he is with us through every trial and through every trauma and through every difficulty. He will never leave us. So I want to thank them because I believe that they have set us up to do this isolation time well and to seek God and to find you, Lord. Um, so thank you to the eldership team. God bless you, Red Point. We love you dearly and um, um, we will chat again.